there are a lot of great fifth wheel RVs out there under 30 feet, but this one here might be one of the best that I've ever seen. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound and I am here at Blue Compass RV today in Dallas, Texas. So if you see anything that you like out of this fifth wheel RV here, or if you are just ready to start shopping for your next RV as well, you can go to Blue Compass's website. They have over a hundred different locations across the United States. So lots of different options for you to go shop for your next RV. And there will be a link down below in the description and comments of this video where you can find more pricing information, up-to-date pricing information and units that are available and in stock. So we are here today taking a look at this Flagstaff Classic and this model here, it is a 281 RK. And this legitimately might be one of the best couple style fifth wheel RVs that I've ever seen. And the Flagstaff Classic line in general is just a really killer mid profile fifth wheel RV. So we're gonna look at the exact specs real quick on this thing and then we'll go inside and then we'll come back outside to look at some of the stuff outside like the storage and whatnot. So right here, you can see the exact length on this is 28 feet, 11 inches. And unloaded, it is 8,286 pounds. The hitch weight on this is about 1,200 pounds. It's a little over 1,200 pounds, actually. It's, it might be closer to 1,300 pounds. So keep in mind that hitch weight is gonna be directly correlated to your cargo capacity or payload capacity on your truck, and you don't want that number to be higher than the payload capacity on your truck there. Now, as we come back around, this is a mid-profile fifth wheel, so real quick, let me just explain that. You have a slant down in the roof line going to the back there, and then you also have a slight slant coming down into the front here as well and there is no drop frame down underneath here so all of these elements together make this a more lightweight fifth wheel a little bit more compact and definitely put it in the mid profile category now as we step inside you can see here just some of your features that come on the flagstaff classic fifth wheels so you can see everything here and i'll just let you go through and read this but things like you have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof with the 18 a 100 watt inverter. You're going to have a tire pressure monitoring system. It has a torsion axle on it as well. And lots of really good construction here. Now, a couple other things to point out real quick. It does have the screenshot assist bar here. So that is going to allow the screen to close automatically behind you. And it does have a privacy shade here in the window. And it actually goes up the right direction. So I love to see that there coming standard. And then as we step inside, oh, last thing too, this is definitely a nice touch that you don't see on many mid-size fifth wheels. It has a strut assisted solid step here. So this will hold its own weight. You don't have to worry about that. One, either falling onto your head while you're taking it down and also not having to lift all of that weight when you put it back up as well. And as we come inside, Definitely let me know your thoughts and what you think about the inside here. And if you haven't already, make sure to go check out my Firmly Unbound YouTube channel as well. There will also be a link down below in the description of this video and a little box in the top corner of the screen that you can click on to go check out that channel where I film all of the things that I am doing to live more Firmly Unbound and hopefully encouraging you to live a more Firmly Unbound lifestyle as well. So as we step inside here, you can see right away this kitchen is pretty spectacular. And obviously this being under a 30 foot fifth wheel right at about 29 feet, it's a little condensed in this space, but I think this is a really practical floor plan layout. Now y'all let me know what you think. Um, 76 inch tall slide out boxes, so lots of space from this right away can definitely feel that. Um, also love how this has a little bit bigger looking refrigerator here and then all solid surface countertops all the way around. Plus, look at this. I mean, this stood out to me right away. This looks about the size of a resident, well, maybe not a residential oven, but pretty dang close. It is an insignia oven and stove here, and that is much bigger than most mid-size fifth wheel RVs. So I really love that. I also noticed right away that it had, first of all, this cabinet has solid wood in it. 
So I love to see that. And it is soft close on these cabinets. Also love the handles that they did on here. I think those look really clean. And then you open these up and these have your standard RV drawer construction there. And then these are soft close as well. Outlet here, you have a 42 inch screen TV right above this space. And then you do have your bar stools right here as well that you will be able to have a nice spot to sit and enjoy a meal there or just converse with whoever is doing work here in the kitchen. Underneath the TV, you have a nice little storage space right underneath there. And then you have windows around this space. These are all frameless windows. So look really good from the outside and you can see all the windows that you have all the way around. Coming to your microwave, this is a standard Red, not sorry, not, I was gonna say standard RV size. It's a residential size microwave. Storage space up above here. You even have a little bit of storage space up above there if you wanted to utilize that space. And then you have cabinets through there and then cabinets through here. They go all the way back to the sidewall. Nice solid latches on these and then these are just a glass cabinet door there. So the countertop space in here really giving you a lot of prep space as you can see back in this corner does have a pop-up outlet usb and usb type c connection and then you have a stainless steel single basin sink looks really nice there and a black faucet down underneath the sink it does have a trash bin in here and you have a spot here that can hold different things like sponges and whatnot and that is a big large space in that area as well and then storage underneath your refrigerator. Love that it has soft closed drawers. This is a Magic Chef refrigerator. So when we open this up, you can see how much space is inside of there. Definitely a good size refrigerator and freezer. And it does have a latch already in place there to hold that shut while you're going down the road. And you can see the price right here. They have this at $58,995. Um, this is not the only model they have in the company as well. I have even seen one that's still available with Blue Compass that's listed at $54,995, I believe. So definitely some really good pricing on these models here, giving you a nice, good, solid fifth wheel RV that is under $60,000. Storage space up above there. And then as we go into this slide out here, where your windows are at, you have your sofa. This is gonna be from the Millersburg collection, which is a Lipper brand. And it's a two cushion sofa. It has pull down day and night shades on this mid-size fifth wheel RV. I'm trying to recall another mid-size fifth wheel RV that I've seen come standard with day and night pull down shades. And I can't think of one. So that is definitely a unique thing that you get with that. That is really nice that I usually only see in the higher end luxury full profile fifth wheel RVs. Also want to point out when we look up, you have a ceiling fan in here as well. So that is another rare find in this size fifth wheel. You have a nice big speaker up there in the ceiling and then you have a dual ducted AC system. AC also has a heat pump in it as well. And then this is a 15,000 BTU AC and you can see it has ducting that comes out this way and ducting that comes out this way. So you get really good air coverage throughout here. It's gonna have a plywood tongue and groove subflooring here underneath this floor. And then in your slide out, you don't have any carpet in the slide out. This is a woven PVC material. And then you can see down underneath here, they do actually have a foil radiant barrier there as well in the slide out. So really flexible, durable material. With that, of course, this sofa will also pull out and make into a bed. So let's take a look at that. So here you have your sofa converted into a bed. Takes all of about maybe 12 seconds to get it into this configuration, not long at all. And now you have a sleeping space here in this living room if you want to ever use this for some sort of sleeping arrangement in this area. And again, in about 10 seconds or less, back into a sofa, very easy. And last thing I want to point out too that I did not mention, you do have vent fans up above this stove there, so it will vent out smells when you are cooking. As we turn to the left, you're going to have a pantry space here. So you get a nice large pantry area in here. You can see your shelving through there. This goes back pretty deep into that space. And this was a motion activated light. So that just turned on as soon as I opened that door. Open that up and you'll have storage up through there. And more storage space through here. Nice lighting in this cabinetry as well so you can see the led light back behind there and this is all solid wood cabinet doors and drawers 
another pop-up outlet with USB and USB type C connections. And then storage down underneath here. Oh, kind of interesting how huh? it just pops down into that space right there. So just be aware of that, not to knock that off or anything there. And then this is gonna be a nice little coffee bar area or something along those lines. Also just love these bar stools. Again, just giving you a nice spot to sit and hang out, but maybe also a workstation or something along those lines. Um, no storage underneath these seats. And it does have straps there to hold them in place. As we go along this way, you can see you have an Asdell sidewall on here. So the full sidewall construction is going to be Asdell composite panels. So you can see all the benefits here of an Asdell sidewall, basically giving you a water resistant material in here. That's one of the biggest, most important things about the Asdell sidewall being composite. And it's also more lightweight than a traditional Luan style sidewall in an RV. Nice looking steps going up into the bedroom and bathroom. And you have the grab handle here as well. And here's gonna be your controls for everything on the fifth wheel RV. Again, motion activated lights. So these lights will turn on whenever you walk by it. You have all your light controls here. This does connect to your phone if you want it to, all your tank levels. And then you do have 12 volt heat pads on your water tank. So great feature with that. Slide out and awning controls here as well. All of your thermostat controls will be right here. And then all of your solar monitoring will be right there. And your switch for your ceiling fan here, I would imagine. As we walk this way, one thing I noticed here is you do have a stopper here to prevent that door from going into the sidewall. So that's nice. Some brands do not place that there. And then as we go into the bathroom, it has a pretty standard bathroom layout. However, one thing that really impressed me was actually the ceiling height in here. The ceiling height is very impressive where it is 77 and a half inches up to this spot and then actually 81 inches up into the skylight. So started bringing a tape measure with me so I could actually measure these things exactly for you. So if you appreciate that, let me know in the comments so I will be encouraged to remember to do that in the future. Have some storage space back into here. That goes back very far, so that's impressive. Has a max air vent fan in the shower or in the bathroom as well. And then this is a porcelain foot flush toilet down here. So standard porcelain foot flush toilet. Has a sliding pocket style door here. Spot to hang a towel right there behind you. And then as we turn back around this way, it does have a nice big stainless steel sink. You can see how my hands fit in the sink here. And then some shelving next to the medicine cabinet. Then open this up. And you have your storage space there with a nice looking kind of hotel style light up above your mirror. Has an adjustable height shower head and the shower head sits pretty dang high. So if I step in here and I adjust this all the way up, camera is at my eye level and you can see it is well above my head. I actually would not have to duck to get underneath that. I love that. And then this here is their shower miser system. So this is really unique as well. And I love to see this where Every drop of water in an RV is pretty important because you don't want to fill up your tanks too quickly so you're not dumping them all the time. This here is going to allow you to recycle your water until it gets hot. So you know how you usually turn on your shower and you're waiting for hot water to come out? All of that water is draining into your gray tank and filling your gray tank unnecessarily. So this here will actually recirculate your water until it gets hot and then this will change colors, alerting you to know that it's warm now. And then you can switch this right here to start sending water up to the shower head so you don't waste a drop of water. Definitely love that. Also like this design that they did on that wall there. I think that looks really nice. And of course you have your outlets here as well and your controls for your Max Air vent fan. Underneath the sink, have a little bit of storage down underneath there. And then as we go back into the bedroom, this is going to have a king size bed in this bedroom. You can get it with a queen as well. Both will be residential sizes and it is a really nice looking bedroom. Now height in here, same thing. It's about 77 and a half inches up to this point, although it does start to slant down as you get towards the front end. And you can see there is a little bit of a lip right there where this is the only carpet we will see in this fifth wheel RV. And up to this spot, it's about 68 inches to right here. So those are your heights in the bedroom and bathroom area. Love the color that you get with the pillows and the headboard. 
windows on both sides and it does have this nice little spot there with outlets and USB plus USB type C connections on both sides. Each individual is gonna get their own puck light above their head. And then when you look across from the TV, you have windows on both sides of this um, kind of dresser or cabinets that you get there. This is a little bit larger window here. And then you have outlets, USB ports here. Love that all these USB ports have a USB type C connection. And then you have a spot that you can put a TV right here, probably gonna fit about a 32 inch screen TV or so in that space. Nice deep drawers. And then through here, you know the one thing I did not check and it doesn't look like it. The only thing is if washer dryer is really important to you, it looks like, yeah, this, I don't see anything here indicating that this is washer dryer capable. It doesn't look like this area is deep enough to house a washer dryer. So that's gonna be the only thing where you'll have to go up to a little bit bigger fifth wheel RV. Um, Flagstaff Classic will have other options that have that washer dryer connection, but this particular floor plan layout, not going to have it. Drawers here that pull out, nice big size drawer there. And then you have your closet. Again, nice lighting too, LED lighting up underneath here. Looks really good. You have a shelf up on top and then down underneath here, you have your clothing rod that goes all the way across. Instead of using a pole, they give you this mechanism here that's not gonna sag the same way a pole will. So that should be a nice good system there for you to use to hang lots of different shirts or items in that space. And you have pull out drawers down underneath here as well. One here and one there. And these are the only drawers I found that are not soft close. So every other drawer is soft close in this RV except for that one and likely that one back underneath there as well. Now you'll see when we go outside, it uses a hidden slide mechanism, which is pretty cool. It looks really good on the outside. So that's why you have this plate right here because all of your slide controls are hidden underneath that wooden plate. This is your storage underneath the fifth wheel RV. And one of the things where you see really good quality in these flag staffs is you have aluminum framing down underneath your bed and under your dinettes in Flagstaff Classic. But not only that, take a look at this. When you look into this space here, and I hope you can see it, they are actually reinforced with wood back underneath there as well. So everything that's secured into these are secured in even stronger with not only the aluminum, but also the wood back through the tubings of these as well. So very, very good quality. Definitely impressed with this and it looks really good. Plus back over here, even making your life a little bit easier for you, giving you a handle there to lift and put this bed back down. Of course, a strut assisted bed as well. You have your second AC in here. ACs are ducted together and you can see the ducting going through the ceiling here with your vents. And that is just about everything on the inside of this fifth wheel RV. So let me know what you think down below in the comments if you could see yourself camping or maybe even potentially living in a fifth wheel RV like this. And let's go outside and take a look at the outside features. So as we step down, let me uh, grab my glasses real quick. And we'll start from the front and then kind of work our way back. So as we start up front, this is going to have a four point electric auto leveling system. It's going to have a Kurt turning point pin box. And then like up in here, you can see really nicely finished out here. They didn't just leave this open. So that looks nice. And then you have solid slam latch doors on your compartments out here. So I love to see this as well except it does require two hands to open. But you have those solid slam latch doors, battery will go in this space here, and it looks like your 1800 watt inverter is also in this space, and your battery disconnect switches as well. So love that, the slam latch doors make it easy for that just to close as simple as that. You have your docking light switch right here and a plug for additional solar outside if you want to use that. Also have a light here, and then as we come along this way, on your awning, you can see this has a metal structure on the outside to protect the awning. That is another really nice thing that I haven't seen on hardly anything else. Um, typically only like your class A motor homes and really high end stuff like that will come standard with a protection over the awning like that. But you get that standard with the Flagstaff Classic. So I love that LED light underneath the awning and the support bar in the middle. 
Through here, you're gonna have a 30 pound propane bottle. You'll also have a 30 pound propane bottle on the other side for 60 pounds of propane in total. Slam latch door here, get that open. And you can see your storage space through here. It shoots straight through. This is a little table that has a rack system that you can use. It also will have a suburban griddle cooktop that you can use here as well. Aluminum framing all throughout here. And let's see, outlet right here, spot to hook up a TV right here. And then that's pretty much it through that storage space. Down underneath here, you have a Goodyear Endurance E-rated tire, and then it has a torsion axle system on it. So you can see your torsion axles down underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly, and you do have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. So very suited for colder temperatures. You have the Moride safety rail here, reaches all the way down so you can easily grab that without having to take a step up the steps to grab that rail. Outlet here. And as we go along to the back, you have your ladder to get up onto the roof. It does have an accessory hitch on the back here. This accessory hitch looks like it'll be rated for 300 pounds. And then back here, this is an outdoor shower connection. So hot and cold water on the back corner of your RV, as well as your 50 amp power connection here. Up on the roof, you have a 200 watt solar panel, two ACs, and the front AC is actually a low profile AC. So it'll give you a little bit lower clearance. Plus you can see on this one here, they have the max air vent fan covers on them already as well. So love to see that already just being installed. Usually that's an additional accessory that you have to purchase. You can see like this used gravity right here. It does, the vent fans are right up here and you can see there's no covers on them. They're just a white plastic. And these actually have the vent fan covers up on top as a new RV, which is pretty cool to see. You can store things through the bumper right here. So this will have a little cap that pops off right there. And then you have a rack and pinion style slide mechanism for this larger slide box, as well as a dump valve right there. That looks like it'll be the gray tank for the kitchen sink. And then up front, pretty impressed to see this has a hidden slide mechanism for this slide out here. It's essentially gonna be like a rack and pinion style slide mechanism as well, but it'll be back behind this portion here underneath the bed so you don't see anything and just looks really clean and concise. You're gonna have your fresh water tank fill right there, a light here, and then this is gonna be your water connections. Magnet latch to hold that in place. Does have a already built-in water filter, love to see that, and a Nautilus water management system here so everything is very clean and concise with a hole right here so you can run all of your water lines down through that space. And there is an outlet in this area and there is also a light in that area. Storage space back through this side. I was really impressed to see these hinges here. This is not common at all, and these hold this door pretty much at whatever space you leave it at, and it's a windy day here today, and this wind is not really moving this door. So I'm really impressed by that, and I think that is a really nice hinge that you're seeing there that just makes this a little bit easier in this space so this thing isn't just you know flailing around like crazy. Then you'll have your electric auto leveling controls there. And that is pretty much it, y'all. So again, this is the 2024 Forest River Flagstaff Classic 281 RK. You can find it at Blue Compass RV. They have over 100 different locations across the United States and you can go find the link to Blue Compass down below in the comments or description of this video if you want more information about this fifth wheel RV or just want to check on pricing, figure out if you have a trade-in, different things like that. So go check that out if you are interested in this fifth wheel RV. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.